I'm doing a few marathon videos so I can have some content for you. But today, I wanted to do a whole food haul. Yes, I know that's unusual, but I wanted to. The reason do it. why I'm doing a whole food haul because we all have to be proactive about reducing our carbon footprint, eating healthier foods, trying to stay alive, cooking at home, uh, buying less packaging and just be a be a better part of the world. We have so much power in the modern world that we can waste the earth, we can destroy it, and along with that we get things like cancers, tumors, unknown plagues and diseases in our communities. We can stop all that by being as grassroots as we possibly can. You're like, you're shopping at Whole Foods, that's kind of fancy, costs a lot of money. I'm not saying everything, but there are certain things that have a value for um, your, your lifestyle that you could, should consider, so I wanted to mention some. This is whole milk in a glass bottle. Now what I do is I drink my milk, rinse out the bottle, take it back to the store and they sanitize this glass bottle like the old fashioned um, milkman used to do. Milkman used to come to your house, bring you your milk, you would use the milk, rinse out the bottle, give it back to them, and then that is the lowest waste way of um, ingesting beverages. You know, you can do that with milk. I'm sure it could be done with a lot of other products, but milk is traditional for it. The only store I know that sells this product are stores like Whole Foods. And um, this is, you can get all the different non-fat and low-fat, but you guys, I'm too skinny. Um, this is cream on the top. This is the old-fashioned milk. It's, it's pasteurized, but it does not say homogenized. So whatever that means, I bought it because it comes in glass and I can, um, I feel like I'm getting the safest, cleanest food for my body. It says organic on there. I don't know what that means in the world nowadays. Organic is some kind of term that they use, whatever. This is a product that is in plastic. I would prefer this in a glass packaging. If the dairy company that sells me milk were to start making kefir, I would switch to buying my kefir in a glass packaging too. Um, this plastic packaging, it makes your food taste bad, guys. You can taste plastic. There's plastic in a water. Plastic is sort of water soluble. Plastic pieces can travel in your water. So I would like to reduce my plastic in the world. But what I did do is buy a big container here. So I'm reducing the amount of, I don't have a whole bunch of little plastic containers. I feel like this is a lower waste than a big one. And this is a product called Kefir. This is a high probiotic form of yogurt. It's much higher probiotic. It says it has 12 active, um, live and active probiotic cultures. So if you are having surgeries, you're getting off balance, your chemicals are odd, if you're a woman and you're having problems down there with bacterial infections, <laughs> Get on this kefir. When I was young, I was I was just vexed below. Changed my diet. I don't have any problems at all, you know. But um, with that kind of thing, you know, I do have health problems. But kefir, probiotics, bring pickles and krauts and all that kind of stuff back. Eat old-fashioned foods. And um, kefir, it's really good. It is much stronger than yogurt. It's not sweet. It is sour. It is full of bacteria, and it's really good for you. Now, the last thing, this bread is in paper. This is the way bread used to come to you. And so they have a bakery at Whole Foods. This is the Whole Foods packaging, and you can get real bread, I mean, and not have it in plastic. So, okay, this would dry out over time. You know, but people used to cook their food and eat it, so they would make bread puddings and all that with their old stale breads. And they had a bread box and all that kind of stuff, which is a lower, a, bre a bread box means that you're not putting plastic into the environment all the time. This is pecan cranberry bread. Oh my goodness, it's delicious. Mmm, so good. I'm full right now, but I'm just going to take a little taste for you. 
Look at that. Mmm. Uh, real food. Real food. This cost, um, this is expensive. See that? Five bucks. It is a sourdough bread. Again, you're getting your probiotics. Got your pecan, so you got your nuts. And then you've got your um, cranberries that are providing you with some fiber. And I think it may be a multi-grain bread, too. I don't know. This is good stuff. They only have this during the holiday season, so it's a winter thing. You cannot get this one in the summertime. In the summertime, I can only get the date nut bread, which is good, too, and the pumpkin seed bread. But this right here is a special for the holiday season, and I do enjoy it. Real food. Real food. This is all you need, guys. You could take just this for lunch. And that's a whole meal. You know, you don't have to have a sandwich and because you got the nuts in here. And then you got the, the fruit and the grain and the sourdough. You could take three or four slices of this, have it for lunch, have a piece of fruit. You're good. You're eating healthy. Now, I know some of you know that I got to have my meat. Well, you know what? If you're going to be healthy, I eat meat. I eat everything but if you're gonna be healthy it's best to pick less days with meat than more days with meat for every day you eat meat toxins build up in your bones and then those those acids malic acids and stuff that are in your bones you we need to get that out of our system so normally human beings, when they eat meat, they're eating meats like once a week or something like that. So that, that allows the body to pull stuff out. But in the modern era, where we've gotten used to eating meat three times a day, we have conditions that are conditions of having buildup in our joints. Like a lot of arthritis that people have really means they just have too much acid in their bones and it's just starting to do bad things. If you just reduce the amount of meat that you're eating and increase the amount of dark green leafy vegetables and water you could reduce some of that you know i mean we still need whatever we need to get by in our current situation but you'd be surprised how many changes you make in diet actually could affect your livelihood like for me most recently it was a, a month or two back that my garden was snatched out so i couldn't eat the food out of my garden and i swelled up I had tumors all in my body. I almost died. And it's taken just now for me to get to the point where I'm still recovering from that. Because I didn't realize it, but I have a very, very severe condition that I'd been managing with eating food from my garden. And when I didn't have that food from the garden, it almost killed me. But God is good. The garden has grown back. I'm back to eating my bitter greens and bitter leaves on a day-to-day -day basis. And I appreciate it so much more now that I understand how uh, much a part of my independence and quality of life is in that soil. God is good. But in any event, so that is the reason why I wanted to share this with you because um, People in the medical profession do not know these sorts of things. They do not realize that eating food in a glass container means that this right here, this glass, it means that I have less arthritis, I have less problems in my bones, um, I don't have as many symptoms of old age because I'm eating out of a glass container. Oh, I got one more, I'm sorry. Kombucha, again, they put this in a glass container. This is another probiotic. This is a live, it says on there, live probiotics. It's kombucha. This tastes like vinegar. This is not your pretty food, but it tastes a little bit better than vinegar. They put a little bit of sugar in this in it. But if you drink about a half cup of this, you know, a couple times a week, it improves the circulation in your body. You know, that means when you get older, you will still have your legs, you know, your toes, your teeth, all that kind of stuff because you took care of that body for the whole time that you had it. Uh, you know, this is another probiotic. Probiotics do that. This, this is a probiotic that really works on your gut. And this is a probiotic 
that works on cleaning out the arteries and all that kind of stuff. So I think that kombucha is like Japanese. And there was a time when the Japanese were living these really long lives, independent and old, still able to garden without a whole bunch of the health conditions that come from eating other diets because they were eating like fresh fish from the water and eating a lot of probiotics and sea weeds for their greens. So this is one, you know, you can get, the, I get this at Walmart, but I just put it in my Whole Foods haul because they do sell it at Whole Foods too. And um, just wanted to share with you some of those little things you can do, you know, to live a little better. Jesus loves you and I love you with all the Jesus in me. Be blessed, beautiful.